uh, we're fresh off the Royal Rumble here. Oh, <laughs> all of us. Yeah. All of us were there. Well, I don't know if fresh is the right uh, word. We are. Uh, we uh, we rumbled uh, hard and got put away wet. And <laughs> we are here. Not, not to be confused with the Royal Rub and Tug. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's a different ship pay per view altogether. <laughs> Over at uh, Dr. John's, not a sponsor <laughs> of the TV Tam podcast. I'm Tommy Milagro. I'm Bill Frost, and special guests, tell everybody who the fuck you are. I'm Melissa Merlot. Yay. Couldn't you figure that out by her giggling in the background? <laughs> uh, and she was a sport uh, coming out to the inaugural uh, LLNG. That's Lucid Luchador and Goots production <laughs> okay. of the Royal Rumble at Brewies. Yeah, so, so you, you were very like... smart not to attach the TV Tan name to it because people came. <laughs> yeah. See, there again, were there the, were a lot of people there. Yeah, un, unlike the TV Tan podcast events, you so know, you're... it's like say like like saying Jimmy Hitler presents. You know, it just doesn't work. <laughs> Your self-loathing is only so cute for so long. I'm numbers I'm don't lie, bitch. <laughs> I'm just telling you, I wasn't thinking TV Tan. I was thinking Royal Rumble. But now I'm thinking TV Tan Podcast, which is sponsored by our good friends at Bohemian Brewery. Yeah, we're drinking the uh, Czech Pills, the good old favorite right here. Uh, at Brewies, I was drinking the Cerveza. I was drinking that as well. <laughs> that is the only way to That's go. a toss-up, uh, my two favorites. They are also refreshing in their own way, and the uh, the Pilsner from uh, Bro- Bohemian Brewery. Bohemian, <laughs> Bohemian. Sorry, I'm. I, I still got. Uh, uh, He's got Royal Rumble on the brain. <laughs> I still got Matt Riddle on the brain, or as uh, Goods and I called it, RVT four point two zero. Sure. Yeah. 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 Before we get to the wrestles, because this is going to very be a very wrestling centric episode, <laughs> which we haven't had happen since episode zero zero four zero. Back in the zero zero zeros. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because well. because you know we again we just got out of watching the Royal Rumble down at the Brewies, which is I'm guess is legal. Um. Uh, sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can do that. Shh. Quiet. <laughs> oh, quiet. <laughs> yeah, Everyone okay. Knows this is the now. one time I'm saying. Everyone knows. I will. I will tell you the two shows you t- you should watch out for this week. Uh, one coming up on Friday. The uh, the final. I don't, I'm not sure how many episodes of BoJack Horseman drop. Oh. I can't wait for that. I just caught up on all the other ones. And then it's over forever. That oh. makes me very sadly. Sad. Well, well uh, over forever, yeah. or just lingering in the stream of verse. I would like it to come back more, but I don't think it will. By the way, is that like a, a Christmas Christmas special, a BoJack Christmas. They already <laughs> did one of those a yeah, couple they years did. ago. It's on the Netflix. <laughs> also, is that our title, "Lingering in the Stream of Us"? I don't know. I still like uh, Royal Rub and Tug. Okay. <laughs> for, I'm writing that down right now for SEO purposes alone. Okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the shows uh, that's one you should watch out for. Also coming up on Tuesday, uh, Miracle Worker season two on oh. TBS. Uh, now uh, it's uh, Harry Potter and Steve Buscemi. Uh, they they were uh, angels working in oh, heaven. Yeah. Now that it's like a different Steve Buscemi is, was God. Yeah. And, and now, now they're in medieval times. That's right. I saw the, the trailer for it. Ages. Not the restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This no, is that. It's good. Yeah, it's not Excalibur gone bad. It's... There were no utensils in medieval times, hence there are no utensils at medieval times. Yes. Would you like a Pepsi? Janine Garofalo for the win, the cable guy. Oh, God. <laughs> I I just know that Daniel Radcliffe is going to play uh, King uh, Joffrey. No, King he's, Chaucer. He's playing a couple of roles. Oh, uh, what, what are the two roles? I can't remember the other one, but uh, one of them is like the young, the prince king right. character. The other one's uh, more of a... I'm not sure what the other one. So he explained at least two characters. So it's the same cast. It's same just, cast, just a different story. Oh, yeah. that's cool! And then they play different characters. Yes, yeah. nice. And it's uh, going to be interesting, just because Daniel Radcliffe, uh, he is TV's answer to Elijah Wood for successful TV for a change. Okay. Well, what? look, look what? at Wilfred. Look at uh, um, how many w- seasons did Wilfred go for? Uh, Several. I- when you say several, you mean four. Is that the show with the uh, guy dressed as a dog? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. One of the one of the very first uh, TV nights at Brewies back way back in the day was when uh, Louie and Wilfred premiered together, mm-hmm. and we did that on a Thursday night. 
<laughs> oh, that's when we had City Weekly backing us. Yeah, that's when we had the uh, uh, l- the liberal media. Yeah, <laughs> but that first night went off. There was a lot of people there. That's awesome. Okay. Then you know what happened the next week? Nothing. Twi- Twilight concert series. Yeah, oh, killed man. it. Yeah, <laughs> killed it. Nothing fucking dead. Can compete with <laughs> yeah. the Twilight concert series. Either. I will say though that uh, you know Elijah Wood has started in some interesting dogs. Phrasing. Uh, there was Wilfred, as we talked about. Then there was uh, Dirk Gently. So, which lasted two seasons. See, more. I think more than one season is a, a mild success. Yeah, I mean, it kept going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, well, will we still keep going on and on with, with, and on? with no reason whatsoever? <laughs> I know. I know. And yet, people still want to tune in. I told you guys. I told you guys why I listen, right? Well, because I get all crazy you, you freaked wait. out from the true crime podcast, so I need to listen <laughs> to you guys to calm down. Yeah, there's no so mystery. you have a good market. There's no mystery here. Oh, and apparently... We're a good <laughs> palate cleanser. Oh, and apparently... <laughs> These are nice. Well, like, and apparently and funny. Mer- Merlot had a bit of a complaint about our show. Oh, really? It wasn't a complaint. It was an agreement with Dr. White. <laughs> and what was the agreement? <laughs> Dr. White thinks that if you drop the NSFW... Then you're not being loyal to the brand. We're we're fucked, basically. <laughs> well, you're just not maintaining the brand. I mean, you've always done it. <laughs> then and that, and thing, I agree with Doctor White. And uh, and since you're in agreement with him, what uh, we should point out our show is NSFW, not safe for work. So, uh, Miss Merlot. Yes. What does NSFW mean for you? Uh, I knew I shouldn't have brought it up. <laughs> yeah, you put me on the spot, make me make up. Ah. The W better be wrestling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just saying right now. Um, numbers shall force wrestling. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, you guys can wrestle that. over the numbers. We can. We can figure that out. Okay. <laughs> numbers shall force wrestling. That was just word salad, but hey. Yeah. Also, in other TV news, I wanted to. Uh, if Melissa Merlot was not hip to this yet, uh, are you familiar with Pluto TV? No, I'm not. Uh, it's a, it's a it's a streaming app that has a lot of chan- it's Basically, it's a live streaming thing. It has channels, doink doink, but it's basically mm-hmm. all old content. There's really you know, it's, it's like they've got a Comedy Central channel which oh, shows neat. a lot of shows that you've forgotten about from Comedy Central. Oh, like shows they used to show. They've got like a hundred or so channels, but one of them uh, is a conspiracy channel. Oh my god, it's goodness. nothing but conspiracy oh. program twenty four seven. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's right up my alley. And also there's one, uh, the THC channel, the, the high channel, which mm-hmm. features a lot of Doug Benson. Oh, God. oh I bet. Yeah. <laughs> but there is a reason why uh, Mer- Melissa Merlot is here. And it's free. Uh, well, oh, I like that. Yes. yes Any we know free she, service. Yes, and she is free, too. But no. Uh, <laughs> no, Melissa true. is here. Mer- Melissa is here because of a little thing called Project Blue Book. Oh yeah, I love that's right. the only reason we it brought came you here. Back, well, uh, I asked, season so I was two, like, it's coming back. Season two, yes. And uh, I'm I'm curious to see what's going to happen with a uh, little spy blonde. I know. Now she's with Quinn. Yeah, it's just infiltrating everywhere. <laughs> and I like that. Uh, the main guy has his wife doing the footwork yeah. for like researching the <laughs> the other side of the Roswell See, if you're, crash. If you're not familiar, Project Blue Book is on the History Channel. Mm-hmm. And they and, do uh, a really good job. Yeah, it's based on the uh, Project Blue Book uh, UFO and alien phenomena reports from the government hmm. in the 50s and 60s. It's not really, It's is it, the show is kind of set in the 50s, maybe it's dipping a toe in the 60s, don't really know. I know it's it's uh, yeah, it bounces around it's, it's, a lot. It's back in that time, but uh, this this uh, the new season we're getting to Roswell and Area Fifty One. Okay, yeah, uh, and let's clarify uh, Roswell the city, not Roswell the ugh, series. So, <laughs> either one. Let's clarify. That. It all you know, started from the same yeah, alleged crash. You know they did a second. Se- they did a second. They did a reboot. And I yeah. completely forgot about it. That's I don't, the entire point. Oh, wait, I don't so, know what so happened. So there was another Roswell. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The the, the CW did a a reboot. I didn't even know that. No one noticed. <laughs> it just came and went. Isn't it crazy that they can make an entire series? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh. blinked and missed it. Um, I don't know if there's more coming or not. It's not like the CW to actually cancel a show anymore. Unless they just, they just make them and it's like, well, you'll see it on Netflix. Unless, Sometimes. unless, <laughs> unless the Illuminati, in conjunction with the aliens, erased your brains. Oh my goodness! Of that show. What if that happened? Maybe there was some truth in it. Yeah. that had to erase our minds. The so, truth is out there, Scully. 
So <laughs> yeah, so we're like what one episode in? Of yeah, the new we're only season? one episode in because it just started. Project Blue Book on I, Tuesdays on the History Channel. And what did you think so far? I love it. Whoever is writing for that show, like they really did their research because okay. I've been reading a lot of books about um, mostly Men in Black and like oh. the alleged encounters of the Men in Black, and there's a ton of that mm-hmm. in that show. Okay, and just and to clarify, not Will Smith and Tommy not Will Jones. Smith, no, uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> like the alleged real Men in Black. <laughs> yeah, because, and uh, Melissa has to tell us about this because she can't tell her other podcast about this because we the, record quarterly. <laughs> <laughs> so right. I heard you say so the, on this show, and the, I'm going to agree with that. The Area 52 podcast, which will make another episode. We talk soon. about recording. Uh, we'll, we'll eventually get around. To we, it. You should record the talking about recording. Yeah, and we just should. release that. <laughs> You mean they record <laughs> once every 400? The prequel to recording an yeah. episode. We totally should. Yeah, just uh, record the discussions of maybe <laughs> recording and then just put that up. Yeah, there, there's a lot of older episodes at Area 52, though, so you guys should listen to those yeah, on they're, they're wherever still, you're they're, listening to this. They're still out there. I like how you're generous in saying that they record uh, quarterly when really it should be <laughs> it's recorded every 420 episodes. And I believe well, the moon has to be in a certain position yeah. and then Mars has to be aligned. And I it's, mean, uh, we are conspiracy bug yeah what the name of hair are we talking here <laughs> yeah it's uh it's part of the what was it utah podcast network upn is that still uh, upn <laughs> tell i don't think very they telling <laughs> they haven't used the the abbreviation for obvious reasons right. <laughs> okay yes so, <laughs> so yeah, Project Blue Book, you should definitely check it out. It's so good. You know what watching it reminded me of? Another TV show that I only watched the first season, and I wish I would have continued to watch it because it's still going, is Vikings. Oh, yeah. Vikings Ooh. is so it's good. It's almost, I think it's drawing to a close scene. Yeah, Ooh. and they were advertising it during Project Blue. I was like, I really dropped the ball. I should have yeah, stuck it's with a, that it's one. Yeah, it's on Hulu. You can catch up. <laughs> oh, and uh, you could also see a WWE superstar, Oh, um, which we'll talk about in huh? a little what? bit. Huh? Oh yeah. What? Okay. He used to be in Vikings. Really? Okay. Yeah. We, was we it Edge? It. Yes. Was it really? I was yeah. just guessing there. Yeah. No. Good it, guess. It yes, it was. Flat Edge. Nose. Edge also uh, also known as the drummer for the Foo Fighters. Oh, bet you didn't know that, did you? <laughs> I did not know that, sir. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Real name Taylor Hawkins. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we learned a lot today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you stick around, you may even learn something. So. Settle down, Bill Cosby. Oh, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Good oh. thing you don't have a drink in front of you, Merlot. I am not drinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 we'll have some more uh, the discussions on that uh, later podcast. Speaking of rapists, Kobe Bryant. Oh, oh yeah. You mean, is this Such already... a tragedy. <laughs> you mean, is it already... <laughs> you mean, is it already time? It's time. Then oh. hit the music, sir. And sports at Tommy Milagro. Go team! From the sports desk of the TV Dan Podcast, we deliver you the sport of professional wrestling, starting with <gasps> tragedy. Kobe Bryant, he dead. Um, and uh, that's what you get for trying to beat LA traffic. No, <laughs> it is sad. Line there on were Stevie other Ray people Vaughan in Airlines. the helicopter. Oh. <laughs> I'm sad for his daughter. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, yeah. Uh, the reports are in uh, after confirmation from the news. That's TMZ. Yeah. That, that's where I first saw it. Uh, yep. Crashed. Uh, his helicopter uh, sustained some uh, some problems in the air and crashed. Uh, so it was uh, Bryant, his daughter, and uh, three other passengers at the uh, last report. No n- reasons for this. Of course, Kobe Bryant, it should be noted, the uh, famed L.A. Laker uh, carried the... Uh, Lakers to at least uh, three championships. But did he ever wrestle like Carl Malone? Nope. Nope. Well, he, yeah, he may be. Uh, <laughs> he may be have uh, been called uh, Black Mamba, but let's face it, uh, the Black Mamba uh, with the Black Mamba, death is certain. It's just that obvious. And uh, <laughs> oh, it's like a cursed name, is right? That what you're saying, yikes! <laughs> exactly. It's a poison snake. Pretty cool, huh? And uh, uh, more on that story as it. Uh, well, it's not, gonna, it's not going to develop. Because yeah, I think that's all we're ever going to hear <laughs> oh, about no, it. Oh, we're, no, we're waiting on the black box uh, from the Black Mamba. Oh, so, okay. That, that's what we're waiting for at this point. So, uh, Royal Rumble. Oh, I, yeah. I got there late. I got there right in the middle of the women's match. Okay. Which, which was, was awesome. Which is a good one, yeah. Yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me see if I can remember. I don't have my notes. <laughs> I don't have my notes. 
Uh, but uh, Royal Rumble, kind of a tepid affair as far as the uh, uh, Houston uh, crowd was concerned. But had some... But the Brewies crowd. Oh, they came out <laughs> in force. Uh, courtesy of LLNG, that's Lucid Luchador and Goots Productions. Branding. And <laughs> boom. <laughs> it will be said, though, that... Uh, Going to be some uh, interesting developments. Uh, the big, uh, the big takeaways from uh, Royal Rumble are uh, that the the Fiend uh, beat uh, Daniel Bryan in a strap match, and uh, oh yeah, what the fuck yeah, is a strap match? Explain that because this was my first time ever seeing that. <laughs> Not a strap on match. Not a strap on, <laughs> match. which I would love <laughs> to see. About that other. <laughs> That's a different that other rest- rumble you were talking <laughs> That's about. That's a different uh, wrestling That's show. That's the Royal Rub and Tug. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> That's a main event, sir. Yeah, it's next to the vape store here in South Salt Lake. <laughs> Royal, Royal Rub and Tug. Yeah, uh, next to Dr. John's. But uh, yeah. that's a different story. No, uh, let's see. The big uh, the big story is, is that Drew Galloway won the men's Royal Rumble and uh, is going to challenge for a championship of his choosing for WrestleMania in 70 days in Tampa, Florida. So, Tampa. 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 Who was it, the one? Uh, Drew Galloway. Drew Galloway. The uh, Scottish uh, psychopath. So, yeah, that's a Galloway? Thing. Yeah. That was his name? Yeah, that's uh, who we were seeing. That it had an uh, M. Uh, <laughs> Nope. I'm looking this. Oh up. wait, wait, wait! Uh, Drew McIntyre. Drew yeah, McIntyre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scottish. I. Sorry, I'm thinking his if old it's name. It's not Scottish. It's crap. I. I was thinking his old name. My apologies, there. No worries. I don't have my notes with me. Oh, so you. Oh, you, that, so that's his. Uh, that's his. That's his other name. They that's change name. names. Yes. People use fake names. Really, in Tommy Milagro and <laughs> Melissa Merlot. Fake names are a thing. Huh. I had no idea. <laughs> the things you learn about in the sports desk <laughs> studios. Uh, it should also be reported. So the Scotsman. Yes, I. They were Scotsman. <laughs> well, because there was a good, like, oh, I don't know, uh, hour and a half or so when Brock Lesnar was in there just throwing assholes out like flies. He was amazing. Yes. Uh, number one entrant and pretty much destroyed. 13 people in the Royal Rumble until he was eliminated himself. I believe that is a Royal Rumble record. Yeah. To note. And uh, Edge came out of retirement. Yes. That's the other thing. Flat Nose came out and (laughs) demolished. No sign of Christian, though. Uh, No. No. Not yet. Not yet, uh, but maybe that's a different podcast. More on that story as it develops there. But, Uh, But probably not. Yeah. Well, because we don't talk about We're not going to remember this. No. <laughs> Lord knows I'm starting to forget. Anyway. And uh, uh, who else of note was in the big 30-man rumble? Uh, let's see. Uh, really, this uh, Royal Rumble, the only big name of note was Edge coming out after, I want to say, six years of not being uh, a wrestler anymore. And well, He's been on the road with the Foo Fighters. Uh, yeah, he was busy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wrong guy, wrong guy. Um, so yeah, that that was the uh, Royal Rumble, and uh, if and when L L and G Productions hosts another wrestling event, we will <laughs> well, keep you know praised. you're gonna. Yeah, it's gonna happen. We're, we're that was in, a good turnout. We are in developments as we speak. We will keep you all appraised. I will say though that um, we'll determine your value. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, <laughs> we are the appraisers. <laughs> Um, mostly, I'm determining how much we want to charge people, but oh. that's a different story. Oh, really? You think you can get away with that? Oh, whoa! This is should be negotiated in the uh, green room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to get back to the leather strap match yes. though and explain <laughs> what that is because I was very impressed with it. And uh, I've never seen it before. Uh, that would be against uh, Daniel Bryan versus the Fiend. And Bray I love Wyatt. the Fiend. The yes. Fiend was made so they're like tied together with like a, a leather, leather strap. strap. Yeah, <laughs> and then they have to okay. fight. It yeah. was so cool, and everybody was so asking. There, there was no docking involved. No, no, docking. no docking. Okay, <laughs> no, no docking whatsoever. All right, uh, but uh, there was uh, 
there was some slapping around, and uh, there was some beatdowns from the uh, the leather strap. Oh, it left welts. Man, this is just really sounding like a grinder date gone wrong. <laughs> I, no docking, huh? Okay. No, no I'm sorry. No, no docking, just the strap. Google, Google, All right. Google docking, kids. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, over the weekend, though, uh, we had another pay-per-view that was uh, NWA Hard Times. Intro music by William Patrick Corgan. Oh, oh really? God. Oh, did I not? Was it was it a sensitive acoustic sit down number? Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I'm was not the world a vampire? Uh, it felt like it. And uh, but despite all his rage, he's still a rat in his cage. Now, uh, but the big takeaways are was he taking his brain force. Yes, it was <laughs> easy, Alex Jones. But the big takeaways are we had crowned your new. NWA television champion Ricky Starks, Ooh. and uh, we also crowned another uh, NWA tag team champion in Eli Drake and the Cowboy James Storm. So sorry about your damn luck. Yeah. So not a good weekend for Cowboys. Not at all. And uh, also the NWA. That's Women's a little UFC reference there for you. Yeah, I see Richard in there. <laughs> and uh, in the NWA Women's Championship, uh, Thunder Rosa beat Allison K to retain to uh, to gain the strap, the women's strap. Going back to <laughs> more that. straps. More st- phrasing. Boom. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, no, uh, the only big, uh, development in NWA news is that they are announcing their next pay-per-view is going to be for the Crockett Cup. So. Okay. That'll be on, uh, Fight the TV. More on that as it develops. And, uh. <laughs> a lot of things developing here. Yes. Well, it, the sports <laughs> desk is a very fluid, uh, desk here. Phrasing. That's what I hear. Uh, <laughs> shh. That we don't have our lawyers present yet. Docking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, just know that anything else that happens is the result of the sports desk because it's sports. And it's sports. Tell me, Milagro, go team. <sighs> Too much sports to catch up on. What yeah. can I say? So when we're getting back to TV here, yes. uh, Melissa, what, what are you watching that we should be aware of? No, no, no. Excuse me. The what the fuck is- are you watching? Thank you. <laughs> TM. <laughs> you guys know I love my reality TV. I've been uh, watching course. Life After Lockup, which is the spinoff of Love After Lockup, which oh, follows what, the what? couples. Okay. All right. <laughs> the more popular couples to continue on in their journey. And Tracy went back to prison because she smoked the crack. And it's <laughs> well, it's kind work. of upsetting. That'll do it. Okay. Yeah. I, I really was like because, Tracy. Was it because her uh, parole officer was watching the show? You go, oh, that bitch, <laughs> know, that bitch is smoking wonder, crack. Like, it's the easiest way to keep track of them. Yeah, don't you have to check <laughs> in on them. They're on a reality show. Porn staff <laughs> just went, hey, enough of that, Tracy. You, you got to go back. And she's like, porn stash, come on. <laughs> So, is that how it goes? <laughs> that's that pretty that? much. That's pretty much the show. Okay. I didn't know you watched it. Yeah, well, I, I did watch this reality TV over the weekend, uh, Below Deck. Oh, I like Below Deck because it shows yachts. Yeah, <laughs> I like the yacht. I I oh got my God. I got sucked in by my roommate. Wow! And, and yeah. they all sleep together and hook up and then get in fights. Well, yeah. What else you can do on a boat? Exactly. Right. But the yachts are really nice. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and this one I believe it was like. Below deck Mediterranean. Mediterranean, yes. yes. There's there's more than one. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. I just learned, and, I and just... now they're gonna have a sailing like spin off of Below Deck, which I don't know how that's gonna go. Huh? It'll be like huh? sailboats, yeah. <laughs> Trust <laughs> me, I didn't realize this was a thing either. And then... <laughs> Boat reality shows <laughs> coming up next on Bravo. <laughs> Dingies. <laughs> Dingies. <laughs> Followed afterwards by podcasts. How to fail <laughs> successfully. That'll happen. That'll be a reality TV soon. show uh, soon, I'm sure. Below Deck, that is uh, what? Bravo? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of Bravo. course it's Bravo. Yeah, and uh, the other one. Life After a Lockup is that? We. We? The wonderful We Channel. Oh, no. <laughs> Wow, um, I do want originally watch... originally supposed to be women's entertainment. I know, and now it's just now it's crap. just garbage. <laughs> the only thing I remember when we first launched, the only thing I liked about it was they had endless blocks of Ned and Stacy. Mm-hmm. Oh, awesome! Which had uh, Thomas Hayden Church and Deborah Messing. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's a pretty funny show. And then it went away. <laughs> yeah, why? 
<laughs> Why did you have to go away? But any, any any new reality developments we should be? Um, that's the only one I've been. You're watching. You're not into The Bachelor, are you? No, you don't I've never that. watched that okay. one. So I, unfortunately, I'm I get out of people. Loop on that. I keep a bug. Get. People bug me about The Bachelor. Have you seen The Bachelor? I got, no, fuck you. <laughs> I know. I haven't seen any of them. The only reason I'm aware of it is because of the Daily Mail. And apparently one of their contestants uh, died of a heroin oh, overdose. Jesus. Oh, yikes. Yeah. That's too That was bad. all I know. I just went, okay, next. <laughs> <laughs> that was the bad Well, there's plenty it. more where those came from. <laughs> yeah. That's I've been... about as much thought as I put it. One of, one of the channels <laughs> on uh, Pluto... Uh-huh. They have channels. Uh, the first one I noticed when I first got Pluto uh, was dedicated to 24-7 Dog the Bounty Hunter episode. Oh, my oh. gosh. But they've since introduced more. They have a 24-7 Baywatch channel. Oh, I used to love Baywatch. They also I have. I love David Hasselhoff. I'm a big fan. Yeah. Uh, they didn't They didn't work in any episodes of Baywatch Nights, though. Oh, darn it. That, was, that they, was fantastic. See, that was the detective show. See, Tommy. <laughs> uh, one, of the, uh, the, uh, one, of the, one of the lifeguards. The, the the big black dude. He started his own detective agency. <laughs> he retired from Baywatching, and he went. That's how a, they spun it off. Yeah. So the Hasselhoff, Rocka. Hasselhoff, and a, one of the one of the one of the women went with him oh. to uh, help out at this. So basically, they were on the beach by day and solving crimes by night. <laughs> right. That makes sense. Yeah. It lasted two whole seasons. Of course. Yeah. Two seasons again. Yeah. But there. getting back to my original point, one of the channels dedicated on. Uh, Pluto TV is a an entire uh, Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders reality show. Oh, making, where they do the tryouts and yeah. stuff? Yeah. That, show, that, that show's one. been going on for fucking <laughs> ever. That was like one of the first reality shows I ever watched. There's basically. so many episodes. <laughs> how, how many episodes are we talking? I don't even fucking well, there's know. there's tons of seasons and like they got to well, have the auditions. Tons. Are we talking like more reality than shows? Are so weird. I'm gonna look it up here now. You'll just find one and you'll see it, and then you'll find out there it's like the twelfth season because <laughs> they're so cheap to make. They so basically, just keep it's all. Them out. So basically, it's all. How do I snort up my uh, cocaine and also not mix it up with my uh, hairspray? Is that what it is? I want to huff my cocaine. It, but it's been on since uh, 2006. That's how long it's been. And 14 been. seasons. Fourteen, yeah. That's so what you, I mean. Yeah, so you get all these. Oh my <laughs> fucking god! And it's just all these, all these, all these bouncy bitches Firefly coming in. Firefly one season. <laughs> Put that in perspective. Yeah, so you got all these bouncy bitches coming in, and uh, you know, there's a lot, lot, a lot of crying going on. And a lot of like, you know. There's always crying. I want you to write the like call sheet for the audition. We need bouncy bitches <laughs> prone to crying. Brittany's looking a little fat out there. <laughs> You're catting up. You can pull it off. Oh, uh, my gosh. Uh, Michaela's got the moves, but she's got that camel toe happening. And I don't know if she can make the team. Oh, that, and uh, <laughs> let's just so talk funny. about uh, Jill. That's J-Y-L-L. Yeah. She is just got something going on with the sun. Basically, it's lately. just nothing but camel toes and pom-poms and tears. <laughs> just camel toes, that's the pom-poms show. pom-poms and tears. Yeah. Okay. That should be the name of that network. <laughs> yeah. Camel toes. Tears and pom no. poms. <laughs> uh, so that would be CTP. Got yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> and it airs on uh, CMT, the former country music television. Uh, so now C- it's just another reality show stream. Yeah. So <laughs> tune in to CMT for CTP. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> Look at that brand. CMT here. runs that one. They run one of those uh, Florabama Shore ripoff shows, like you know. MTV actually had a show called Florabama. <laughs> yes, yeah. they did. Yes, they did. We talked uh, about it. CMT is owned. I never saw that. CMT one. is owned by the same company that owns MTV oh, and all those channels. There we go. And uh, it's like you know, meth gators or something. They're meth in this gator. fucking. They're in the fucking swamp and are arguing. All your oh. all your fake reality shows you say like the titles it, of. They sound pretty good. They right? sound <laughs> awesome. And Melissa I would, totally would watch them. them. Oh, Viacom. <laughs> What have you devolved? Oh, they also I have, would watch Meth Gators. They also have uh, reruns of Last Man Standing. Of course they do. <laughs> of course they do. With Tim Allen keeping his conservative mouth shut because he wants to keep his job. <sighs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> if only the rest of Congress could do the same thing. Yeah. Whatever. Speaking of actual good shows, though, I've 
been binge watching over and over and over again BoJack Horseman. <laughs> okay. Good for you. <laughs> because it's going to be gone soon. And you know what I realized is I thought Sextina Aquafina was actually Aquafina. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bad comedian. <laughs> yeah. You should no. every every I had to look her up on IMDb yeah. to find out it was Aisha. Re- related, <laughs> everyone should check out Aquafina is Nora from Queens on Comedy oh. Central. Yeah, I want to watch that. It's uh, I watched, pr- pretty damn funny. Yeah, I watched <laughs> clips. She's really funny, so and that was why I was like, Is she the same as Sextina Aquafina? It's, it's some like, oh it's a God. show to fill the, the broad city hole in your heart. Yeah. It's very broad city esque. And for the record, uh, as long as you're near me, you are a better comedian. <laughs> and, that's well, t- that's Tommy's you, function Tommy. in life, just making He's other comedians look better. one for the team. <laughs> Phrasing? <laughs> uh, such is my lot in life. Cheers! Yeah. Also, I, uh, I blasted through season three of The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Okay. Highly recommend it, as usual. Killer season. And uh, I got through uh, the... Uh, CW uh, DC Universe uh, over the weekend too, and uh, oh yeah, y'all y'all caught up on all your DCs. Uh, pretty much, except uh, no Flash that I could see. Okay, uh, is that coming up pretty soon? Or? Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I'm I'm just still all about Legends of Tomorrow. Okay. Which was uh, a great dumpster fire. <laughs> so they, they just don't care anymore. It's yeah. just a comedy. It's like fuck it. <laughs> you know, you kind of got this Bad News Bears vibe, but uh, we want to make uh, people really like you and relate to you. So. The, the thing I can't figure out is, like, you know, you got you got the White Canary, but the thing is, she only, every once in a while, puts on the superhero costume, which is kind of an off-white eggshell mm-hmm. thing. Alabaster. Alabaster <laughs> thing, yeah. She only puts it on it occasionally. It's yeah. like, what what is a big enough incident that she has to attend to that makes her say okay i'm putting on the costume for this one easy soup weeks so sweet weeks okay yeah. <laughs> because it's it's not a good costume i think that's why she doesn't wear it very often it's like someone make her a new one because yeah, it's just, it's just sucks it sucks <laughs> maybe if she went to arrow and the canaries okay fuck that show all right <laughs> that, that the little spinoff they snuck into the end of arrow there uh-huh. see episode eight of the season was the end of arrow right that's the end of Arrow, Spectre, well, Oliver, whatever the fuck he was. End of Arrow 8.1. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then they stuck on episode 9 as sort of a backdoor phrasing pilot <laughs> for uh, the uh, the Canaries. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to like lead you into the other show. Arrow and the Canaries. So. Arrow, Arrow, oh. Arrow and the Canaries. Yeah, Josie and the Pussycats, whatever. <laughs> Arrow and the Canaries. No, does not look promising. <laughs> Didn't look good. Doesn't oh, sound very good. I, it's I'm, not. I'm going to give it a few episodes. I'm just going to let it ride out because, you know, Crisis is a reboot. Yeah. And, uh, uh, oh, and Supergirl, though, that does look interesting, especially with the the Brainiac. Uh, Multiple Brainiacs. Yeah. <laughs> Multiple Brainies. Uh, that is. And the- also Batwoman finally had to say, look, I'm a lesbian. Yeah. Keep your dicks ah. away from me. <laughs> Yeah, written by uh, Cara Danvers of Catco. So yeah. <laughs> that, I thought, was kind of genius yeah. right there. But the the one show that should be utmost on your DC TV viewing. Black Lightning. No. Oh, wait. Why you got to hate on the Black Lightning? I don't hate on the Black Lightning. Uh, you're it's a hate- fine show. Okay. <laughs> it's a fine show. Uh, no, over on the DC Universe, the Harley Quinn animated series. Oh, is yeah. fucking hilarious. That's where she started it, anyway. And it's so full of F-bombs. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I actually watched that. I like Harley Quinn. Uh, definitely. it's. Uh, I think uh, this week will be the, the last episode of the first season. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's pretty fucking funny. Is it just to prepare us for Birds of Prey coming out pretty soon? I don't know. I, don't know. I think it could be something along those lines. I, I like know. that they did it because she came on with Batman the animated series yeah so i was way excited that she was a cartoon again yeah batman in harley quinn is voiced by diedrich bader oh <laughs> which is pretty goddamn funny <laughs> oh come and, on uh, mr j <laughs> and uh shark man what's what's the, the shark guy uh no it's a shark king shark, shark king yeah shark voiced king. by uh, ron funches oh okay <laughs> yeah i'm in i'm in yeah sir and uh yeah well that's enough for now uh, no new episodes or that we should uh, watch harder? Or? No, the thing is, uh, this week is all about the fucking Super Bowl. So it's going to be nothing but wall-to-wall specials like, what were your favorite Super oh, Bowl commercials? Yeah. Like, how about you suck my dick? That's right. Your- <laughs> 
God, it's going to be that week. I want you to do a Super Bowl promo. Super Bowl promo, <laughs> suck my dick. The only that, thing- that's the thing what happens is like, I'm all, the reason we're recording so late tonight on a Sunday is because I don't have to go to the morning zoo tomorrow because they're up, up to the Sundance. And you just oh. said, fuck it. But this time they actually let me know ahead of time. Okay. As, a, as opposed to most years where they just kind of let just me show figure it out. Up? Well, no, I, if I tune in, I hear them on the radio in Park City, I go, oh, oh then you know. I guess I'm not, I'm not on today. That's yeah. a crappy way to find <laughs> out, though, because you have to like research but, on your own. But uh, yeah, they actually let me know ahead of time. So oh, yeah, that's, that's good. That's, that's cool. Yeah, that's promising. Yeah. But uh, yeah, but this week is all about the Super Bowl, and then, so next Monday will be the day post Super Bowl, mm-hmm. and they'll be talking all about the Super Bowl commercials. Mm-hmm. And while I I will want no part of it whatsoever. <laughs> the, the only they'll ask me about it, and I'll go nope. The <laughs> only reason to pay attention to the Super Bowl is because uh, coming from the sports desk here, George Kittle. <laughs> Uh, of the the wide receiver for the San Francisco 49ers is a huge wrestling fan oh. because anytime he scores a touchdown he pantomimes uh Pentagon Jr's hand signal of cero miedo <laughs> so it's uh so that's not that's not a white nationalist thing uh, it's not white nationalist. <laughs> Well, not when you're Mexican. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's okay if you say it in another language. That means you're totally. accepting, yeah. right? First of all, first of all, uh, if everyone's paying attention to our teddy bear nanny cam for our uh, platinum members, yes, uh, you mean our cubic zirconia members? Yeah, I, uh, the chat room's going wild here, just talking about it. <laughs> yeah, first of all, I, I'm doing the uh, the zero as in a AOK symbol, but then I put the three fingers down. That's miedo. So So that's two in the pink, two in the stink? Is that it? <laughs> it was like all three. It's pretty extreme. <laughs> bam, um, bam. That would be uh dos en el cinco and uh, Oh jeez, gotta say <laughs> No. No, I'm not going down that uh, rabbit hole. Okay. I won't go down the penta hole. Sorry. The penta hole. All right. Nope. Yeah, so it's going to be, uh, this week is going to be a whole lot of Super Bowl shit and a couple of new shows that I mentioned at the top of the top of the thing there. Mm-hmm. And new stuff coming in February, so I would uh, advise you to, uh, oh, we're coming oh. up on the XFL. Oh, oh for, shit. For my next. <laughs> God damn it. I got to pay attention. For uh, my next uh, content shift for slog, I think I'm going to write about all about the XFL. Do yes. I need to be involved in this somehow? Uh, if I will call upon you if needed. Okay. Yeah. That means I gotta fucking pay attention. Yeah, God the the XFL has come up. So uh, follow me on Twitter, uh, Bill underscore Frost, and uh, follow TV Tan Podcast on Twitter as well because you can catch my uh, cable TV dot com weekly updates about what the fuck is happening on your TV box mm-hmm. this week. We're trying to make that a thing over at cable TV dot com. Okay, have I mentioned cable TV dot com? Uh- <laughs> Wait. What was that again? Yes, exactly. Cable TV.com, yeah. What? Cable they're, they're, they're letting me do a grand experiment of doing something I want. Oh, that's awesome. As opposed to work. That's so, perfect. Yeah, I so like that. hopefully hopefully it'll catch on and I'll get to keep doing it. Okay. Otherwise, I'll just be back to writing about modem routers. Do I need to uh, be a, <laughs> okay, Do I need to contribute somehow and just say, hey, listen <laughs> and read? Yeah. So yeah, we uh, got share. We got share. It. Super Bowl coming up. Uh, 49ers versus the uh, Maple Leafs. Is that yes, right? That's okay. exactly right. The red right. team versus the red team. <laughs> the red team yes. versus the redder team. Cool. So. All right. Yeah. So that's going to happen. And uh, yeah. Who, who, Super Bowl uh, halftime show. J-Lo, Shak- Shakira. J-Lo and Shakira. Ooh. So I predict there will be at least 45 minutes of a uh, field cleanup to get rid of all the glitter and sequins. Mm-hmm. So there's going to be a long, been a long game. Uh, so that kid who's petitioning to get uh, the Super Bowl moved to Saturday might be onto something. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm taking bets right now. Whose uh, hips don't lie? Is it Shakira or uh, J Lo? Uh, right now, there's going to be a lot of grinding. Uh, <laughs> uh, just right now, know that Shakira is even money, and J Lo. Uh, she... America is not ready for this much Latina grinding. <laughs> She's a four to one odd here, so. Latina grindage. Look it up on uh, pa- <laughs> look it up on pay per view. God damn it! Uh, I just want to add in that Animal Planet's Puppy Bowl, Puppy Bowl, oh. their halftime show is going to also, feature kittens. The, the Hallmark Channel has the kitten bowl. <laughs> yes, 
in the. Where do you the, choose? <laughs> no one has yet taken me up on the offer to air the Snake Bowl. <laughs> I, w- I would watch the Snake Bowl. I love snakes. All right. And for the <laughs> halftime show with the kittens, it has Jay Meow and Cat Kira. <laughs> nice. Okay. And that is on the commercial. Well played, that Animal is, Planet. <laughs> that is uh, your choice only because of the cute kitten name. Of yeah. course. Well right. fucking done. Okay. okay. All right. We know how you're going to vote, America. So, uh, <laughs> anybody just, remember the lingerie bowl? Oh no, but not surprising. <laughs> I don't remember. It was a. Uh, it was women's football played in lingerie. Oh really? It was yeah. a thing. Oh. oh, but with shoulder pads because you know safety and helmets. But still, <laughs> it was it was fucking shoulder pads and helmets and lingerie. It yeah. was, yes, it was so fucking dumb. That is but hilarious. It was so tasteful. It, yeah, very tasteful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look it up. It was a real thing. I'm going yeah. to. I'm definitely looking that up. That uh, it's, a, that it? It, it's a different time now. Yeah. All right. Uh, stay tuned for the uh, lingerie comedy ball. <laughs> All comedians in their underwear. Oh, God. That's a real thing. You think that would work? <laughs> yes. Well, it's an so, actual show. For low, yes. Me. Not on me, no. It no. would work on me. <laughs> All right, so, uh, yeah, so uh, rate us on the things, uh, send us some any kind of message you want, and, uh, yeah, we're out of here. Good night, America. And jiggle that handle, because it's time to flush. Go ahead, Melissa. Oh, thanks for having me on. It's been a lot of fun. (laughs) Take care, everybody.